Hi everyone, this is Virginia with Butterfly Journey Human Services, Butterfly Journey Ministries, and Doers of the Word Bible Study and Fellowship. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. When you can find time to make time to look, listen to the Heavenly Father's Holy Word, to read His Holy Word, to do His Holy Word, to spend time with Him in your private place of prayer. Hallelujah! Heavenly Father wants his children, servants, and remnants to love him, serve him, obey him, seek him, do his word, spend time with him every day. He wants his servants, children, and remnants to reach out to him, call out to him, cry out to him, bring all their cares, concerns, and worries, problems, situation issues, whether it's family, friends, associates, business, if it's education, someone's in school, if it's dealing with a stranger, the Heavenly Father wants us to have this relationship with Him. Want us to speak with Him every day, listen to Him every day. How do we listen to the Heavenly Father? Through His Holy Word, His Holy Scriptures, His love letter, the Torah, Tanakh, Brikhat, Shah, and the Holy New Testament. So today we are going to be talking about how to get help from the Heavenly Father when we're going through tough times. You know, tough times are here. They're going to get worse because the Heavenly Father is shaking the heavens and the earth to get our attention to wake up spiritually, to come back to the Heavenly Father and loving him with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength, with all our might, and love our neighbors as we love ourselves. The Heavenly Father is shaking the heavens and the earth to get our attention to wake up, to see his goodness, his grace, his mercy, his love, his favor, his healing, his deliverance. His everything is a blessing to those ones who put their faith, hope, and trust in him serving, obeying, and seeking Him with all their heart, mind, soul, and strength, loving Him with all their heart, mind, soul, and strength, and loving their neighbors around the world. Neighbors are not just the people living next to you in your townhouse apartment, your single family home, or trailer, or even a hotel room, or even if you live in a homeless shelter, or you live in a hotel, the neighbors is not only ones who are nearby, but they're also around the world. We need to love them as well. So let's go ahead and open with prayer. And we're going to get into Heavenly Father's Holy Word on how to trust Him, believe Him, and, and cry out to Him and asking Him to help us through the tough times that we may be experiencing now or the tough times that's coming most precious Heavenly Father, Almighty Yahweh Elohim, in the name of the Messiah, Yeshua, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yeshua, Yeshua, the one who is and was and is to come, we ask you, Heavenly Father, to forgive us for all our sins. Forgive us for all the terrible words we said, the terrible actions we displayed, the terrible thoughts we had in our mind about a person or a group of people. Heavenly Father, please, please, please forgive us and have mercy on our sinful souls. Teach us how to live holy, pure, and righteous. Teach us how to read your word every day. Spend time and I were in your word every day in our proud place of prayer. Teach us how to love you, Heavenly Father, with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength, and love our neighbors as we love ourselves. Heavenly Father, forgive us for all our sins that we had done yesterday, two days ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago. Please forgive us, Heavenly Father, for holding any grudges or malice or unforgiveness against someone. Heavenly Father, help us to forgive those who have hurt us intentionally or unintentionally. Heavenly Father, help us to love you and show the love of the Messiah show as he, you, Almighty Yahweh, has shown to us. Heavenly Father, help us to be a light, those ones who are darkness. Your light living in the body temple of your humble, obedient, clay vessel, servant, children, remnants who are trusting, believing you. Spending time here every day and loving you, Heavenly Father, and your word. Your Holy Spirit in the born again by the blood of the Lamb, servant, child, remnant of the Heavenly Father will be doing, speaking, living, singing, and glorifying, praising, and worshiping you, Heavenly Father, by reading, studying, meditating, and doing your Holy Word, Heavenly Father. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Heavenly Father, for waking us up today. Thank you, Heavenly Father, electricity and water. Thank you for food to eat, liquid to drink, clothes and shoes, where to take for transportation, whether it's walking, riding a bicycle, train, plane, automobile, a balloon, a ship, or a spaceship, however the Heavenly Father has us to go and come. Thank you, Heavenly Father, that you have given us your 
strength and talent, abilities. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for giving us a job, a career, a business. Thank you for giving us a, a loving family, a husband, a wife, a spouse. Thank you for the wonderful children, grandchildren we are having our home and our lives, Heavenly Father. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We pray for all our family members that don't know you, that they'll come to accept, believe, receive you, Heavenly Father. We pray for all elected government officials around the world that you, Heavenly Father, will intervene. Help those government elected officials make godly, righteous decisions that be beneficial to their residents, to the people living in the land. Heavenly Father, we pray for all those people around the world who's experiencing conflict and wars and rumors of wars. That Heavenly Father, that they return to you, Heavenly Father. Almighty Yahweh, you are the one who can save and deliver and the, all the powers in the hand of the Almighty Yahweh, who's in control and in charge of everything and everyone. Heavenly Father, we praise you and glorify you. We love you. In the name of Messiah, Yeshua, we ask and believe and thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen, amen, amen. So, if you have your Bible, which I hope you do, whether it's a paper Bible or electronic Bible, I'm going to be reading from this wonderful devotional that I bought in 2008. Yes, yes, I was going, at that particular time, going through a terrible, emotional, distraught, situation in my life. I was practically homeless and I was looking for a place of affordable housing at that time to move into. And it was challenging then. I know it's very challenging now, more so now than then. But in 2008, I was walking through